your gym membership because you're no match for the strongest creatures on the planet. We're counting down the top 10 most extreme examples of animal strength and comparing them with human attempts to muscle their way into the record books. Discover that only the strong survive when you take life to the most extreme. Earth is a planet of extremes. Extreme places. And extreme animals. But some animals are more extreme than others. Join us as we count down to find the most unusual and the most extraordinary on Animal Planets, the most extreme. Number 10. Powering straight into our countdown of extreme strength is the bear, the strongest land mammal in North America. Bears come in at number 10 because they love working out in the wilderness. After all, who needs a gym when there are 300 pound boulders lying around? But black bears don't roll rocks just to improve their physique. They're more interested in the bugs under the boulders than working out the muscles on their shoulders. While looking for food keeps bears in peak physical condition, we found other ways to build up our strength. So why does working out work? The human body has more than 650 different muscles. They range in size from the massive gluteus maximus to a muscle just one-tenth the size of a flea. It's found in your ear and protects your eardrum from loud noises. And no matter how much you exercise, you'll never get more muscles. The ones you've got will just get bigger. But the only way we could be as big and strong as a bear was if we grew to be 10 feet tall and weighed around 1,200 pounds. And since half of a bear's body weight is pure muscle, it's no wonder bears are so much stronger than us. And like any super athlete, all those muscles use an awful lot of energy, which is why bears spend so much time looking for food. The summer salmon run provides plenty of bodybuilding protein, but it also brings fierce competition for the best fishing spots. Grizzly bears are so strong that one swat from their massive paws could break your back. So it's no wonder that most people keep their distance, no matter how much they're provoked. The only way you could safely get up close and personal with a grizzly would be to wear a serious suit of armor just like the one built by Canadian mountain man, Troy Hurtabees. Now, if he's got the same power, which I doubt it, uh, even the doctors of physics at McMaster University, they said that's the, that's the scene, that's, if you're gonna simulate the swat of a grizzly bear, you've gotta go with a three, 400 pound log, 40 feet elevated. They did the PSI, the G-force. They said the grizzly swat will not supersede that. So I'm saying, even if that is what a grizzly can do to me, the only difference is he might be able to do that 
two or three times consecutively. I'm ready. Here it comes. Troy's been developing this suit for 10 painful years. Mm-hmm. Now, Troy's convinced the armor's tough enough to withstand even the strongest grizzly. The hard part will be finding a bear brave enough to go anywhere near him. While the bear may be stronger than your average Canadian, our next contender can even out-muscle a grizzly. Number nine. You have to be tough to live on these rocky shores. At number nine in the countdown is an animal so strong that we call it the muscle. This young shellfish will need all its strength just to find a foothold on the rocks. Fighting against the waves, it uses its muscular foot to hold on tight. But it's not just the muscle's muscle that makes it extreme. Adele Heinemann from the Aquarium of New Zealand knows that as these shellfish get older, they grow the strongest beards in the world. It seems that, just like Samson, the secret of the muscle's strength is in its hair. These little threads that we can see coming off the muscle here, they're called byssus or bissel threads. And they're ultra strong. They're kind of like our hair, made of amino acids. And they, the muscle places them on the rock with a little foot that it's got inside it, and then it glues them there tight and strong. That's why when you go to collect muscles and you pull them off the rock, they're stuck on really tight. Imagine if we could produce glue from our feet we'd find ourselves in a really sticky situation. Unlike us, Mussels want to stick around forever. So it's no wonder these shellfish have moved out of the seafood buffet and into the laboratory. The shipping industry is really interested in this glue that the mussels can produce because even the best glues that we produce at the moment aren't as strong as this mussel glue. They break down after a short time in salt water, whereas this mussel glue lasts a lot longer. Imagine what we could stick together with a little muscle super glue. No wonder researchers are excited about the potential of muscle power. Unfortunately, there's a catch. Scientists say you'll need to grind up over 280,000 muscles just to make one ounce of glue. And at nearly $50,000 per pound, don't expect to see it on the shelf at your supermarket anytime soon. This shellfish may be the highest paid muscle on the planet, but it's still only number nine in our extreme countdown. We've muscled our way past the first two contenders.
But soon, we'll grab the bull by the horn and lift the lid on animals so strong. They're the eighth wonder of the world. That's next on Animal Planet. Number eight. At number eight in our countdown of extreme strength is a monster that's powered its way into movie immortality. King Kong may have been the greatest ape in the world, but the animal that inspired the movie is far from monstrous. At number eight in the countdown is the gorilla. We're fascinated with gorillas because we're remarkably similar. With one notable exception, gorillas are much, much stronger. Not even the strongest humans on the planet can compare to the power of the gorilla. Imagine if you were a weightlifter at the Olympic Games. To compete for the gold medal, you'd have to be able to lift over 550 pounds. But what if you were as strong as a gorilla? You'd easily set a new world record by lifting two family cars. That's over 4,600 pounds. The real heavyweight champion of a gorilla troop is the silverback. This male is so big and so strong that he dominates the rest of the family group. No wonder all the young males dream of one day finding enough gray fur on their back to become the boss of their own troop. But until then, they're happy trailing after their hero like little gorilla groupies. And that's because nothing's more impressive than a silverback throwing his weight around. Gorilla fights are short and to the point. Unlike the battles of some human gorillas, for back in 1984, two of the world's strongest men ended up fighting for the title in court. Bill Kazmaier from Alabama lifted logs, Playboy bunnies, and said he was the strongest man on earth. But then, so did John Wooten of Massachusetts, and he hauled trains, hoisted trucks, and held back racing cars. I am simply the world's strongest man. I am the world's strongest man. As the winner of the world's strongest man competition, Kazmaier was so upset by his rival that he took him to court. Wooten responded by challenging Kazmaier to settle the dispute out of court. Kazmaier refused, claiming that Wooten's stunts were just tricks. In the end, the judge flexed his own judicial muscle and threw the case out of court. Although both men claimed victory, the fans were in no doubt. Which is the world's strongest man? Kazmaier. Sometimes even the strongest creatures have to learn to take a fall. Gorillas may be more than a match for the strongest men in the world, but they're still only number eight in the countdown. From powerful primates, bulging muscles, and brawny bears. Coming up is an animal so strong, it slides right off the scales. That's next on Animal Planets, the most expensive. Number seven. Floating into number seven in our countdown of extreme strength 
is the strongest animal in the Amazon. There's only one creature out here with enough muscle to make our countdown. And it's not the Cayman crocodile. The anaconda is number seven in the countdown because it's strong enough to squeeze the life out of anything. But how can a snake kill a croc? To find out, you just have to ask Peter Taylor from the St. Louis Zoo. Snakes asphyxiate their prey uh, when they're using constriction as a method by uh, biting, using the neck as the first coil, and then several of the mid-body coils, which have a lot of power, and just tightening up, just as the snake is doing uh, with some effect right now on my arm. You can see there's very little space there. And uh, if I had a lung inside that arm, I would not have room to breathe. And that would be a big problem for me or for a small prey item. So it's a muscular tightening of the coils and a rapid taking up of, a, of the slack in between. A little like this. <laughs> All that muscle can be deadly. But to really get to grips with muscles is no easy task. Every movement we make requires a vast network of nerves to connect our brain to the muscle fibers. That's because even the simplest task requires the coordination of many muscles. You may not know it, but you're contracting more than 200 muscles just to walk. The anaconda also has a big job coordinating its muscles. After all, weighing more than three men, this is the heaviest snake in the world. And much of that weight is pure muscle. No wonder catching animals even the size of a deer is no problem. Luckily for the deer, the anaconda is built for strength, not speed. So instead of chasing its prey, this snake lurks in the murky shallows, just waiting for an opportunity to wrap its lunch in a deadly embrace. Number six. These are some of the strongest feet on Earth. They're so powerful, they can crush bone. These are the feet of the ultimate winged predator, the eagle. It's number six in the countdown, because you have to be strong if you want to pluck food out of the rainforest. And on the menu today is monkey a la canopy. For this African crowned eagle, it's time for some takeout. Monkeys think they're safe because they're hiding inside the canopy. But this eagle has short wings designed to let it maneuver through the branches. Catching the monkey's one thing. But carrying it is something beyond even our most powerful cargo planes. This Starlifter is one of the largest freight planes on Earth. It can carry up to 95,000 pounds. That's a lot of monkeys. 
but it's still only lifting about two-thirds of its operating weight. The Eagle is number six in the countdown because it can carry up to four times its own weight. While the Eagle's massive muscles make it a super bird, Sometimes even the most ordinary people can possess superhuman strength. Some superheroes are made not by radioactivity, spinach, or by the wearing of underwear over their trousers. Sometimes ordinary citizens can save the day thanks to adrenaline. In a crisis, our body calls on our very own emergency response center, the adrenal glands. They produce hormones like adrenaline that sends the body into action mode. And this is how sometimes people can get superhuman strength. But even some eagles need help from a superhero. These are stellar sea eagle chicks. To survive, they're going to have to outmuscle the competition. And that includes their sibling. High in the Arctic Circle, their parents can only feed one chick. So the weaker of the two will be bullied to death. No wonder eagles are the strongest birds in the world. Right from the moment they hatch, they discover that only the strong survive. Eagles may be strong, but they're still only flying at number six in the countdown. Coming up are animals so strong that civilizations were built on their backs. And we'll find the animal that inspired this 97 pound weakling. That's coming up next on Animal Planets, the most Number five. The next contender in our countdown of extreme strength proves that not all traffic is powered by combustion engines. For in Asia, road hogs are actually road cows. Pulling in to number five is the ox, the big rig of the animal world. It's a green machine because it runs all day on nothing but hay. For 6,000 years, the ox has helped us carry heavy loads. But in the wild, their cousins have a different use for their massive strength. These raging bulls are fighting for females. For when push comes to shove, only the strongest male will take home the herd. ancestors were obviously impressed by the strength of oxen, which is why they became the farm vehicle of choice. Even today, four out of every ten cattle in the world are kept as draft animals. No wonder some people try to be as strong as an ox.
while these human oxen may be strong, just like a wild bull, it pays not to make them see red. are the cutest animals in the countdown. Baby Bengal tigers are number four in the countdown because when they grow up, they'll become the biggest and strongest cats in the world. A fully grown tiger can leap over 20 feet and stand 10 feet tall. But even this big baby retains a fondness for milk. Take a close look at a tiger and you can clearly see the bulging muscles that became an inspiration for one of the world's most famous muscle men. Charles Atlas was once a 97-pound weakling. But then, after watching big cats at the local zoo, he developed a series of exercises based on dynamic tension. He transformed not only his body, but his wallet, because he sold his plan to millions and so became the grandfather of the modern fitness industry. In the U.S. alone, people spend $10 billion a year exercising. Firmer butts and stronger abs may be only a credit card number away. But you could never buy muscles like a tiger. It's hard to imagine just how strong the tiger really is when you see it at rest. Those enormous muscles in the paws and jaws seem harmless when used against pesky flies. But when the tiger is hungry, all that power is focused into one explosive charge. A single bite is strong enough to sever the spinal cord. And then the tiger uses its enormous strength to drag its meal to a safe spot. How would you like to be strong enough to lift a domestic cow over a six foot high wall? No wonder we're scared of tigers. We're no match for the tiger's enormous speed and strength. But luckily for us, tigers spend more time sleeping than hunting. Perhaps they're exhausted from exercising using Mr. Atlas's dynamic tension. So far, we've trained with tigers battled with bulls, and eaten with eagles. 
Coming up, are sisters so strong they give new meaning to girl power? That's next on Animal Planets, the most extreme. The next contender in our countdown of extreme strength can be found in tropical forests around the world. You just have to take a close look at the leaves to find signs of weightlifters at work. Chewing its way into number three in the countdown is the leaf cutter ant. It may be small, but it can carry slices of leaf more than 50 times its own weight. Imagine if you were as strong as an ant. If you could lift like an ant, you'd never need a tow truck. That's because every time you had engine trouble, you could simply pick up the vehicle and carry it to the mechanic. Raising 50 times your weight would be like lifting a truck weighing more than six and a half thousand pounds. And you'd be able to carry it an incredible eight miles. Ants are so strong that just imagine what would happen to our world if they grew a little larger. Ah, let's get out of here, come on! H.G. Ah. Wells, Empire of the Earth or they shall inherit the earth sooner than you think. If we're lucky, leafcutter ants will inherit the earth because they're strictly vegetarian. And it would be a world run by females because all worker ants are sisters. This is one case where females are definitely not the weaker sex. Human females, however, have muscles that are on average 20% smaller than a male's. That's because men produce more of the muscle building hormone testosterone. But women can still be as strong as men, so long as they exercise those muscles. Everyone grows muscles if they exercise, even your grandma. Just look at Elma Beck. She's won national powerlifting titles and has broken numerous U.S. age group records. Not bad for a 75-year-old super granny. It just goes to show that anything's possible if you put your mind to it. Although not even leafcutter ants are strong enough to take on every intruder. These soldiers will fight to the death, trying to protect the most powerful ant of all. The ant queen controls the whole colony and is as big as a mouse. No workers dare step out of line with this mother. This queen rules an army so powerful that in only a few hours, it can strip all the leaves from a tree. But our next contender's so strong, it just rips the whole tree out of the ground. Number two. What's big, gray, and strong enough to be number two in the countdown? The elephant, the strongest land mammal on the planet. 
When it comes to moving timber, in some societies, nothing works better. For more than two and a half thousand years in Asia, civilizations have been built on the back of the elephant. But it wasn't just their enormous strength that got them the job. Elephants respond to over 40 commands, most of them unspoken. Try to do that with a logging truck. Asian elephants may be smart, but they're not as strong as their African cousins. That's because African elephants are huge. How would you like to get between two bull elephants with a combined weight of 10 tons? Elephants are so strong that nothing stands in their way. The advantage of being so big and so strong is that nothing's brave enough to eat you. Such jumbo-sized animals could have difficulty reaching things to eat themselves if it wasn't for that amazing trunk. It's extraordinarily versatile. It's good for feeding and drinking. It can both suck and blow, sniff and feel, and even be used as a snorkel for breathing underwater. It's the most sensitive part of the elephant's body, and yet it's strong enough to lift more than 600 pounds. It takes baby elephants a couple of years to master all the tricks of a trunk because it's incredibly complicated. Just like the human arm, the trunk is made up of six major muscle groups. But there are no bones inside the trunk. Instead, the muscles are subdivided into more than 100,000 separate units, which can be controlled to make the trunk as versatile as the human hand. But sometimes, elephants are just too strong for their own good. The strongest locks in the world couldn't stop these burglars from breaking and entering. Bags of grain are enough incentive for an elephant to push over a building. But even this isn't enough to take the elephant to the top of our extreme countdown. We've seen the nine contenders. They're the best of the best. Only one animal is a more extreme muscle machine. It's number one. And it's coming up next on Animal Planets. The number one. The most extreme power lifters in the countdown have been immortalized in museum collections all over the world. Their huge skeletons are a lasting reminder of their awesome power. But don't bother looking in the galleries, for the number one animal in the countdown is kept in a drawer.
The strongest animal in our extreme countdown is the rhinoceros beetle. It's number one because wait for wait, this is the strongest animal on the planet. People in Thailand are so amazed by the strength of the male rhino beetle that they trap a female beetle inside a special log to encourage the males to do what they do best. Bets are placed on which beetle is the strongest. The winner gets the girl, and the loser gets thrown off the log. So just how strong is the rhinoceros beetle? Some researchers have estimated that a rhino beetle can lift 800 times its own weight. Imagine if we were as strong as this armor-plated insect. That would be like us lifting a tank, all 65 tons of it. So why is the rhino beetle so strong? Well, for its size, it has far more muscles than we do. These beetles don't have bones. Their muscles are inside their skeleton. So all that armor plating means there's many more places for muscles to attach to. And so, with more muscles inside a strong skeleton, the rhinoceros beetle gets the optimal leverage needed to produce truly extreme strength. then when it comes to strength the rhinoceros beetle really is the most extreme jeff searching through the rainforest of costa rica keeping his eyes open for that special find 